Today at Gadget Class, I am reviewing what is easily uh, the coolest product I've ever reviewed at Gadget Class. This is the Expert 302 M Cookie Kit by the Micro Duino team. Uh, Micro Duino, for those of you that don't know, it's a lot like Arduino, but it uses stackable modules that makes things a little bit simpler and, you know, you have less wiring and less uh, electronic skills required. This one here takes that a step further and makes it more friendly to the younger side of the market by making the modules Lego stackable. That's right, you can pull out your old Lego collection and go to town prototyping and building whatever you might want. This here is a music box that I uh, built based on uh, one of the wiki pages on the Microduino site. Uh, smart car, I've got a little basic demo that I'm going to show you here. Make sure you watch the whole video because I'm going to demo all of those. In fact, I'm going to spend more time on that than I am on unboxing because uh let's face it we all want to see what this stuff can do but they give you plenty of stuff in this expert 302 kit this is basically their uh, master pack it comes with most of their modules most of their sensors servos wheels remote control everything you might want to do a basic kit or prototype project um, it's all in there and i'll go over those real quick but i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time i want to more show you what this thing can do and if you guys want me to do more in-depth videos make sure you leave a comment down in the video description below and I'll be happy to do some more in-depth videos. This is basically a quick review and unboxing. So they give you a full color uh, instruction book that tells you what all the modules are, how to get started. And here is our center module pack. I've got a lot of these already pre-installed on my projects. Um, but you've got all your good stuff here. you got uh, an OLED display, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, an extra core module. Um, all the stuff you want is there. Here's our sensor package. The sensors, we got everything you might want there. We got basic LEDs, we got color changing LEDs, we got a PIR sensor, a buzzer, infrared, crash sensors, little uh, micro switches. Everything you might possibly want to play around with is there. Then here in the bottom of the box, uh, we got an infrared remote control. We got plenty of interconnect cables to connect all of your sensors to the various modules. And uh, they give you everything you need in this kit. USB cable, they give you a little uh, uh, micro USB SD card reader with the uh, IDE programming software preloaded. So all you have to do is plug this into your computer, double click the install file, and you're good to go. In fact, I had the 3-in-1 the demo programmed in less than two minutes. Very easy. Here's a servo. They do give you two servos. I've got one pre-installed in my car there. And everything you might need, little internet interconnects for the servo, adapters, cables, all that good stuff is there. So, um, you know, I really like this kit. And uh, even though it's not quite as robust as maybe a straight Arduino kit or the... Uh, the Micro Duino pluggable modules because everything uh, uses pogo pins, uh, little uh, spring loaded pins there, gold plated spring loaded pins. Um, I did get some connectivity issues in some places um, where you, you're not getting the smoothest signal transfer between everything. Um, and that's where a straight plug plug in or soldered connection like on the Micro Duino projects uh, would have a one up there. But in terms of uh, basic basic prototyping, basic programming. This is going to be a great kit for any aspiring programmers, anyone who likes to play with Legos and uh, you want to take it a step further by introducing basic programming skills, uh, programming uh, basic electronics uh, functionality. All of that stuff can be done with this kit and it can be done in a really fun and exciting way. So let's jump right into the demos. I want to show you what these things can do. It's a lot of fun to play with the completed projects. First demo I want to show you is the basic 4-in-1 demo. I would recommend everyone start here. It is so simple and so easy, and it gives you a really satisfying idea of what four of the modules can do with one program. Very easy. I'll put a link to this project on the wiki site down in the video description below. All we're going to use is the M battery, a core module, the motion module, the LED matrix, and the OLED display. Starting out, let's go ahead and turn on our M battery here. It's on. And notice these are polarized. You can only put these on one way, so you don't have to worry about mixing up pins. Uh, due to the magnetic polarity, it won't go on unless you have it oriented the right way. So we've got our core module on there. Let's start with just the LED matrix. And I'll turn out the lights so you can see what's going on here. And let me 
let me adjust the light setting here. There we go. So with just the LED matrix on there, it's just doing a scrolling LED light show. Let's one up that by adding the motion module. And now we're going to get a different color, colored light based on velocity, orientation, and motion. So we can even do things like spinning it, and it'll change colors while spinning, um, different colors based on angle, that sort of thing. Now let's take that to the fourth step and one step further by adding the OLED display. Welcome to Microduino. And now we've got a little smiley face on there. Actually, he's only smiley when he's in the middle. So it's using motion to detect the level orientation of the whole stack. And unless you have it oriented just right, he's got a sad or frowny face. So that's a really fun demo. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. And like I said, I had programmed this uh, within the first few minutes of opening up the kit. Uh, really great place to start. Here's my first attempt at a remote control car. I'm using the Itty Bitty City code for the smart car. Uh, the Itty Bitty City has a lot of cool projects in it, and I'll put a link to that down in the video description below. Um, I'm using that code, and I still need to program the servo, but the, the basic smart car code for the Itty Bitty City is actually pretty robust. You've got the IR sensor for input from the remote control. You've got a speaker, a buzzer, uh, or a speaker and a microphone sensor. You got uh, line and crash sensors, uh, LEDs. You got a pretty diverse set of code there. Um, but I'm going to modify it to be fully uh, servo-based remote control. I just haven't programmed that in yet. I've got an old Lego-based uh, stereo carrier bearing there that I'm going to use. But for now, I've just got it uh, sitting on this little old rocket motor thing. And that will allow me to turn without the servo because it turns by turning one wheel faster than the other. And uh, the smart car actually has three different modes. You got mode A, which is just straight remote control. And you've got uh, mode B, which actually follows a line. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can turn the line sensors uh, facing the ground and it'll follow like a piece of electrical tape or a dark uh, Sharpie line. And then you've got mode C, which is crash detection. It'll actually hit a wall, back up, try to go a different way. Uh, it'll respond to sound, that sort of thing. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to use mode A and show you guys how it works here. Pretty simple. turn uh, right and it doesn't turn quite as smoothly because I'm just uh, using a, an old rocket motor and it's not spinning on a wheel the itty bitty city kit does come with an omni wheel that allows you to do that three-way turning very easily but uh, we got uh, backwards forwards left And right. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, as soon as I get this servo working, I'll put up a new video. If you guys want to see any other uh, video demos of this build, let me know, and I'll try to put up some videos as I go along. Here's my music box build. Uh, pretty easy to put together based on the music box X02 wiki page over at Microduino. I'll put a link to that down in the video description below. Um, I had my girlfriend throw this together and she did a pretty good job. You can tell by the little flowers on top. Yeah, I actually put the flowers on top after she was done. <laughs> But uh, it's pretty simple. We're using the two speakers from the Expert 302 kit. We're using the M battery, the Audio Pro module, the LED matrix, and it actually uh, detects ambient sound from the microphone here and gives you a little visual display there. We're using three touch sensors for play, pause, previous, next, volume up, volume down. We're using the uh, input module, the SD card module, and the core module. And uh, it works pretty good. I did have some issues with it. Um, sometimes you have to keep resetting it for it to start. And I did have the best luck with the Audio Pro module stacked directly on top of the M battery. Sometimes if it uh, get too much bass in there, sometimes it'll cut out a little bit. Um, but most of the time it works uh, the way I have it here. 
when I first got the Expert 302 kit, I really wanted to do a Bluetooth speaker uh, because it has a Bluetooth module and an Audio Pro module. But apparently the Bluetooth module is not capable of uh, real-time decoding of the audio stream. They are working on an upgraded version of the Bluetooth module. But for now, you have to play songs off the SD card. And I've got some royalty-free Ben sounds on there. And I'll uh, show you guys what it does here. <laughs> 